Welcome, welcome, welcome YouTubers uh, to another piano lesson with Warren. My name is Warren McPherson. As always, thank you for joining me every Wednesday on this channel where we talk about gospel piano, gospel chords, gospel licks, gospel runs, and worship chords, and all that good stuff for church musicians and people who want to learn about the gospel piano style of playing. So today we're going to look at something a little different. I don't think I've ever done this on the channel before, but we're going to look at chords to play for altar call or when there's a worship going on and you want to create that sort of atmosphere. Nothing too fancy. We're not going to talk about, talk about any fancy licks or fancy runs or passing chords. It's just about how can you create that atmosphere of worship, especially during the altar call segment. Your job as the musician is to create that atmosphere so the Holy Spirit can take over and grab the hearts of folks and pull them closer to that altar, yeah? So I'm going to show you some stuff that I play. Simple but powerful. Now before uh, we go into some of the specifics, one of the most important thing in my opinion for that sort of worship atmosphere, altar call type playing is the type of sounds that you use. And so if you just have a piano alone, it can still work, but it works best when you have it layered with some pads and some strings, like, like check out this. Yeah? sound and what I have going on right here I have my piano patch layered with some strings and some pads that's it nothing too fancy if you don't have a keyboard or you're not using any sort of uh, soft synth that can do that then you can just use the piano alone but having that sort of pad string combination with the piano uh, blend in really does wonders yeah so that's why I want to show you guys today Without any further ado, we're going to work out of the key of A flat today. Why A flat? No specific reason. I just pick a random key. And the stuff that I'm playing also, I like how it sits in the key of A flat in terms of register. So that's why we're working out of the key of E flat, A flat today. And what we're going to start off with is just some, some of the simple chords in A-flat. This is going to be our first chord. It's a one chord, just the A-flat add nine chord. Then our two chord. Then our three chord, or our sort of our one chord, uh, with the three in the bass. Mm. Then our four chord. Then our six chord. Then our flat five. Then our four minor six. And then our five chord with a sus. Then resolve. Those are the chords we're going to be working with today. Let me play them now without breaking so you hear the transitions. So we have...
one more time. So you just play these chords, you know, in the background to create that atmosphere. That's it. And let me just quickly tell you what the qualities of each of these chords are. We've got our one at nine. Then we have a two chord. And then you can walk this third down. to dominant ninth. And there's one chord in first inversion at nine. Then the four major thirteenth. Then the six minor eleven. Then the flat five, the minor seven flat five. That's a D minor seven flat five. Then the four minor six. And then the five sus four. Then resolves. And those are the chords right there. Now, when you're playing that sort of worship style piano, it's about space, it's about dynamics, and it's about register. Your job is to create that atmosphere and so you have to be in tune to what's happening within the room, what the, the pastor is doing, what the worshipers are doing. And you want to participate in that with the music. You don't want to be just a bystander, just looking and sort of isolated emotionally from what's happening. The more emotionally invested you are, the more emotionally uh, supportive you are also into that process, the easier it is for you to play. Because some of the things I'm going to show you here, there's no theory behind it. It's a matter of feeling. It's a lot matter of emotions. And the more you tap into that side of you, when you're playing, the easier it will be for you to do certain things without even thinking about it. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to layer it with a little melodic motive, you know, so you see what it sounds like without just playing, playing basic chords. So with a little melodic motive, it would look like something like this. Do that one more time. Just let the spirit move, yeah?
So you see how beautiful that sounds. And in terms of how many space I leave between the chords, it's totally up to what's happening within the moment. This is a section of the worship that has nothing to do with really time or, you know, keeping a groove. It, it's more just spacious. And so it has, you know, you really have to be in tune listening as to what's going on, when, where, so you can decide how fast you want the chords to drop or how slow you want the chords to drop or how do you want your volume, how, how um, loud do you want your volume or how soft do you want your volume. How quickly do you want the melodic lines to go by? All of those are dictated by what's happening in the moment. And you're listening and you're reacting and you're feeling. And so you have this sort of like roller coaster thing happening. Now, so once you got the chords, you got that basic melody, you can start in putting a little broken chords in the left hand. Something like this. Again. So you see how you can add some nice little rhythm with those thumbs. You know, it doesn't have to be that specific kind of rhythm that I just did, but that's how you can just use that left hand to just really, you know, get a little bit of movements going. And this is something you got to experiment with because there are a lot of different ways of playing uh, these sort of worship altar call style playing how you use rhythms, how you use chords. But this is just something I came up with to show you guys. And I'm going to make the MIDI file, LMS file, for this available for download so you guys can go and shed it and apply it to your plane next week in service. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to show you. That's it. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to play through this thing the way I would. And I'm going to utilize some different registers, some different rhythm, and I'm just going to zone in so you can see exactly some of the things I do, do when I'm playing the sort of worship style playing. So here we go.
So, that's just some ideas. Some of the things I do. I'm all in it emotionally. I mean, I don't have a, a congregation right now or a pastor um, doing his thing to sort of feed off that energy. But hopefully this gave you some ideas as to, okay, these are some of the things I can do to create that atmosphere of worship. Didn't you feel it? Didn't you feel like worshiping right now? Didn't you feel like getting down on your knees right now and really giving some praise? I know I did. So I'm going to make the MIDI file and the LMS file for this available for download for free. You need to click the link in the description to be navigated to the uh, website where you can download this. All right? So these are some of the things you can do during worship. As always, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, leave a comment in the section. I'd like to hear what you guys think of this video and what you think about the worship style playing in general. What's your ideas? What are some of the things you do in terms of progressions or in terms of layering sounds? I would love to hear from you guys, all right? So until then, keep listening, keep singing, and keep practicing. And don't forget to click that link if you want the MIDI file and the LMS file for this video. Have a blessed week and see you next Wednesday.